All right, I hope you guys can see this. I got some questions for you. So I planted these shallots, or shallots, and uh, I'm sure the video is not going to be very good quality, but as you can see, there's tip burn on these, okay? So they all sprouted really good in the aquaponic system, which is awesome, but uh, I'm having an issue with my system, and I've been having this issue probably for about a year and a half, and so I wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm going through here. And then hopefully I can get some positive feedback here. So the other day I had my uh, system basically was looking like it needed some iron. And so what I did was I topped off uh, my water uh, with RO water. And I'm not sure if I need to, if I'm missing minerals or something like that. So I basically, um, I'm just going to run it all by you guys. So I topped it off with RO water. And then, um, so I added probably about 100, not 100 gallons, probably about 75 gallons of uh, RO water. And then I also added my iron that I need to add for my system, uh, for a 450 gallon system. And I have an iron checker, which uh, it brought the reading to about 2.8. Uh, as of today, it brought it to about 2.8, which is good uh, for aquaponic systems as far as I know. Um, but then right after I added this stuff, okay, I started getting uh, leaves dropping off this pepper plant, and this pepper plant was healthy, okay? But as you can see, there's probably like leaf miters or something going on in this thing, right? Because they're just like digging it, right? But I think they started doing that though because the plant got weakened. So um, I had flowers starting to drop off of it, and this is right after I did this update, or uh, right after I did this, uh, this adding, adding the water and uh, the RO water and adding the iron, okay? And this seems to happen each time I do this too. See, this is a tip burn on some other shallots I have, okay? And then my strawberries, they seem to respond positively to this, but um, my strawberries started to kind of get deformed a little bit there, okay? And so um, strawberries seem to be okay, but all my pepper plants, uh, the fruit seem to be trying to push through this, but as you can see, the leaves, okay? And so, yeah, I know people are going to say this is an iron deficiency, but I added plenty of iron. Okay, my uh, my pH is 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 just right, um, and so I don't know I don't know what's going on. Okay, this is my uh, cucumbers, and as you can see, it's got some uh, necrotic areas, right? And then uh, the older leaves they seem to be doing okay, but they're they're not green. This is the fruit. Okay. It's all nasty, and I know this could be due to pollination, but I actually have uh, bees right there, and they were pollinating the heck out of this thing. So I don't know if it's pollination that caused that problem. Here's the other side of the pepper plants. As you can see, this leaf right here, it's, it's nice and green. The only thing is, is that uh, it's drooping, okay? Right after I did this, add this water, and I, and I added that iron, I started having these issues. And then these worms moved in, like, directly after that, and they just went nuts. Um, this is another pepper plant over here, okay? So you can see some of the leaves. They're just, like, really weird um, discoloration on them, and the leaves fall off, like, real easy. Well, of course, I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> so anyways, um, I wanted to ask you guys, is there anything that I'm doing... Uh, or anything that I need to do or any questions that I need to ask uh, myself on how to get this thing down because I, I mean I got these grow beds built over here you know and I, I want to hook these suckers up and really get into this but you know I, I don't want to spend a bunch of money and then have this thing not go for me you know um, I know that a lot of people they avoid tomato plants and all that stuff and so that could be part of the issue um, uh, you know, maybe I need to grow greens instead of, you know, things that bear seeds and stuff like that, like uh, zucchinis and all these these other things. But just help me get a handle on this. I'm wondering what's the issue? What what is the problem here? So please watch the video, post your comments or questions or answers or any of that stuff below. Uh, if I if you need to ask me questions about anything, I'll I'll do my best to answer it. And uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just not understanding this. Everything was doing good until I added the iron because I was showing slight deficiencies. So everything was doing good, and then I added RO water and I added the iron that I needed to add. And um, 
I could tell you what kind of iron I use and all that stuff, but everything was going really good, and then all of a sudden it just failed. So let me know what you guys think, please. All right, later. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's been a while, so I just wanted to give you guys an update on the system and show you how it's going. Uh, everything's going good. I added a few more plants. They've taken. Um, everything looks really good. I only have one one uh, thing that I would suggest is if anyone starts this, try not to start anything from seed. Uh, it will work. Um, it just seems like it takes the roots a little longer to get down to the water and uh, the plant kind of wants to shock a little bit but um the ones that i did uh, do from seed they're they're still surviving and everything they're just not doing as well as the rest of them and you guys will see uh anyways i'm gonna go ahead and switch you guys over let you see the system that today i'm gonna actually show you my dad's um, um strawberries and let you guys kind of make a comparison um remember the ones i put in were uh the smallest from the bunch and um, so they're not putting on as much fruit as the ones my dad has um, and it's not necessarily a race to see who's going to put on fruit first it's more or less which ones are going to put on the better fruit so uh, anyways um, I hope you guys like it and I'll let you switch over and take a look at it all right so this here is a tomato I got a tomato over there um, I've got a few peppers that are right here that I put in for seed. They haven't started yet. I don't know if they will, but I haven't seen any sprout yet. I got cabbage back here. The cabbage looks like it's doing really good. Um, here are the strawberries. Um, this is spinach. This is the one that I put from seed. So as you can see, it's it's all right. It's doing fine. Um, just every now and then, I have to take a scoop of water from the um, uh, from the tank and kind of help it along. And then this is a strawberry I did from seed. It's actually started to um, to root pretty good. I could pull on it, and it seems like it's it's doing pretty good. I had to cut back several uh, uh, branch or leaves so it would uh, help these these other ones grow a little better. Um, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it does. It's still still in that that phase where I, you know it's got a little bit of new growth. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, so they're really green. They're getting tall. Probably need to prune some of these back a little bit. But uh, we are getting fruit on now. Um, the one thing that I'm seeing different is this is putting on several fruit on one runner and actually on one tree or I say tree, one strawberry bush um, versus uh, what these other ones look like. So anyways, that's the system. Fish are doing good. Uh, you can hear it cycling uh, and uh, pulling it down with the uh, uh, auto siphon. Um, the, the other thing that I was going to say is these are not necessarily 12 inches tall. Uh, recommended height is 12 inches. These are about nine to eight so there's definitely uh the water level is only coming up to right about here before it psych uh siphons down um which doesn't seem like it's hurting it a whole lot um but anyways this is a really cheap beginning system uh great for apartments great for um for small areas and it seems to be working really good so uh, I'm going to switch over and let you guys see what my dad's got going on. So my dad decided to put these in a grow bag. Uh, as you can see, they're doing pretty good. Uh, they've got a lot of growth on them. They probably need to be pruned back quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to do that probably today. They're putting on flowers, and they are putting on fruit. Um, there's one right there. This plant has got three or four strawberries on it. So that's good. This one's putting on two. Um, the rest of them are, seem to only have one or none on them at all, which, you know, is typical for strawberries. Um, so we're just going to see uh, everything I've been reading. Strawberries and aquaponics grow bigger, and uh, 
they they grow more of them uh, in aquaponics so we'll see we'll see how that goes but uh right now i'd say it's a pretty uh pretty tight race um my dad's strawberries look like they're doing uh a little better than mine because they've got a little bit more leaves um but uh we'll, we'll see how it goes hope you guys liked it and uh we'll uh give you some more updates i've got a new tank that i'm going to be putting out uh it's 150 gallons and we're actually gonna have uh, tilapia in it so um uh, i'm not sure what we're gonna be growing in it right now got to cycle and get get all the bacteria and stuff going good but um We'll get we'll do an update on that. I, I'm really um, happy with the small system I have here. It's doing it seems like it's doing really good. So um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to shout at me and let me know what you uh, uh, what you're thinking. Thank you. Bye.